And here is another how-to that I really didn't plan on doing. So this one is on how to remove uh, the axle nut on this car. In my case, I have a M24 by 1.5 thread axle and the nut that comes on these is a 30 millimeter 12 point actually so and that it's a 12 point so you really have to use a 12 point socket this is a 6 point so this doesn't really fit so what do you do in a case when your nut is all rusty and uh, and it doesn't want to come off so I guess in that situation you have to first of all you have to try your best remove it with a socket and the next step is if the socket is not really doing anything and it's rounding the knot more and more then you have to deal with the knot itself so I guess step one try to uh, well try to use the socket but the real step one is to actually free the, the knot those crush tabs or whatever it is you have to just remove those so to remove to undo those you can use a chisel or whatever tool you kind of I guess find to be suitable for this job I'm using the high-speed steel uh, drill blanks I sharpen this to a point and this being high-speed steel is uh, is tough enough to really just peel whatever that's another problem these knots are fairly soft that's one piece and there's <laughs> there's more so once those tabs are removed or undone the knot is really free to to be removed so the other thing to do is uh get rid of all the rust i have this this brush that kind of fits nicely in here uh, well i guess you can use whatever else that fits and uh, i have this uh, die grinder battery powered so let's get rid of uh, as much rust as we can that's clean enough always wear your protective gear these things can really hurt you I think I got all the all the rust out so this, these, these are the tabs that I was just talking about if uh, more light helps to see things better the rust is gone and the knot as, as far as we can see is, is fairly rounded so yeah that was me doing some things improperly I should have cleaned up and removed all the rust before I uh, tried anything and we have a BMW rolling in today is a BMW day so that's step one I guess or step one and two so the next would be to try dealing with that knot so this became one of those fail videos in the sense that I failed to really capture the process and everything that I was doing with this axle nut removal I will try to explain what I went through with this so basically in a nutshell once you clean everything up all the rust and remove and remove all the rust because there there can be a lot of rust like this nut that's an example I don't think this is uh, this came from this car I think probably this was on, on, on this axle on my car but I had to deal with uh, with another BMW and here's a, a whole bunch of nuts that I was practicing on well they all came off and uh, that was a learning curve so I'm going to try and share what I learned my experience is, is this 
First of all, you have to remove all of the rust that you can and knock those tabs, locking tabs off. So that's that's important. Second of all, you have to have a, a really good 12 point socket. Well, these are 30 millimeter 12 point and I think it's like 34 or 36 on 335 but that can be, um, it doesn't matter what size it is but you really have to have a good 12 point socket at this point because you need to have something that is going to actually grab on to this rusted, really rusted knot and uh, there is not much to really grab onto so you have to have a good 12 point socket like I was saying, impact grade is the best to really go with if because you will have to use an impact wrench. Nothing else will really do the job if, if you are dealing with the rust, rusted nuts and everything like this. You can try using a, a breaker bar, like something like this, half inch square, but that will be struggle. So my advice is to get a really good impact wrench. Um, uh, for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the small one, but that, that didn't really have a, any chances. So you have to have a good impact wrench and a 12-point socket. This one I had to modify, I had to grind it down to expose the edges of the 12-point. So I could actually beat on it first of all to go through whatever the, the leftovers of the rust I had. I tried different sockets and I even tried this one and all, all it was doing was slipping over the knot and basically just rounding it. So basically that's, that's the bottom line. A good 12 point uh, socket and rust removal is important and a good impact wrench is also needed. So basically you put this on and uh, you may struggle with the rusted one. This is a new nut for the demonstration purpose, like I said, because I missed all of the good stuff, um, unfortunately. Once the nut comes off, you really, like I said, you, you will either have a chance of the axle coming out or the axle not coming out. So, so I guess in a situation when you're trying to replace the bearing only you would want to save the axle but if you're replacing the axle you can actually beat on it all you want uh, you shouldn't really worry much about it but if your axle is rusted in you pretty much have no chance of getting it out of the hub at home unless you try a sledge hammer so that's pretty much all the nut is removed if you're doing, uh, if the axle comes out, you're good. You can just replace the axle and replace the knot, reinstall it, torque it, uh, crimp those tabs. Yeah, I guess there isn't much really with the reinstallation. So just, I'm going to use some anti seize. I'm going to put this knot on. Well, I guess I can just do this and uh, I'm sure there is a proper spec for the torque I'm just going to use this breaker bar and use my judgment yeah you kind of have to keep this this socket from slipping Well, that's my parking brake given in. I think that's good enough. And the last thing to do is, uh, I'm gonna remove the spacer, is to crimp those. I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't see any reason to do that. And so that's what it looks like after those uh, edges are punched in. So this was really pointless, I didn't even get a good video out of this. Well, the only benefit of doing this is that I don't have rust anymore and I have a, a new, a fresh new knot without rust.